Have you ever wondered how people stop at just one portion of dessert? Will you ever have control over your trigger foods? Or do you have to avoid them forever? Does this sound like you? If you have dieted, restricted, or struggled with your eating for a long time, there's a good chance you haven't truly enjoyed your food for a while or ever in your life. Food can sometimes feel like the enemy because we associate negative beliefs about it. You can feel like if you don't avoid the brownies, you're gonna never stop eating them. Then when you do eat it, you feel you shouldn't be eating it or that it's bad, so you're not even enjoying it because the negative self-talk and guilt that comes. When you struggle around a certain type of food, the struggle can be real, and I want you to know that you're not alone. This is a conversation that comes up a lot with my clients. That's why in this video, I'm gonna share with you why you can't stop overeating dessert and how to stick to your plan in the heat of the moment. Hey friends, if you're new here, my name is Christina, and on this channel, I talk about lean eating skills and the psychology of behavior change while keeping the fun in life. Is there a type of food that you struggle to stop eating at just one portion? Maybe for you, like many of my clients, it's desserts and sweets. A couple things could be going on here. Maybe you have that mindset I mentioned earlier, where you're unintentionally giving food this power over you by calling it bad or forbidden, which is actually making it even more appealing. Or maybe if you do allow yourself to eat it, you only give yourself a tiny diet size and unsatisfying portion, which only keeps you wanting more. Maybe you avoid keeping certain things in the house because you struggle with moderation, but then you feel this anxiety about going to social events, parties for your kids, or business functions where you don't have control over what's being served. Are you tired of feeling so anxious about these things? You wanna be able to fully participate and enjoy yourself, but you're so preoccupied about what food is gonna be served and how to handle yourself, that you don't even really feel present. And it's actually stealing from your life. It's awful to feel so out of control. One of my clients recently shared that she had an event to go to for her kids, and she made a plan to just eat one portion of dessert with her meal. Despite her best intentions, she ate one dessert and then her partner didn't finish theirs, so she ate the rest of that. So she felt so disappointed in herself, she just kept going because I might as well keep going since I already blew it. Have you been there? If you have, I'm here to tell you it's really okay. Try to give yourself grace and reflect on that experience with curiosity. How did one serving turn into two? That experience was just one attempt out of many, many opportunities to come. I want you to try this experiment next time this situation comes up. Go in with a plan, but here's the key. You have to give yourself permission to enjoy a satisfying portion of dessert without guilt. When you feel like you can't even have one, that's when you end up with four to five portions. It will be important to keep your plan in the front of your mind. Next, I want you to scope out the desserts to see which ones look delicious to you. Don't just go for the lowest calorie option if you won't really enjoy it. Second, when you're getting your serving, make sure to take enough to feel satisfied because you have a goal of not getting seconds. Then remind yourself again when you take a seat, sit down, taste the food, focus on what you are doing. Remind yourself when you take a bite that your goal is to not get seconds. As you get to the end of your plate, remind yourself again how much you want the success today. And when you get to the point of being done, focus on your breathing. Stay calm and present and tell yourself how proud you'll be to do things differently today. Some of us struggle with the keep going type of eating. Usually it's from not wanting to end this pleasant moment and to avoid going back to some kind of unpleasant thing. That's why as a bonus, I like to recommend that you have something else that's also pleasant, ready to transfer to, like a game on your phone or chatting with a friend or something else that can ease the transition. Also, it can work to remind yourself you'll get to enjoy other things later. This is not your last pleasant experience. And remember, even if you blow it, reflect with curiosity. Tell yourself, I'm learning how to enjoy desserts at social events without overeating. Learn from the experience and know that you're gonna have many other opportunities to try again. At first, progress might look like stopping at two desserts before you can stop at one. It might look like learning to be really present and enjoy the food and realize when you give yourself permission without guilt, you don't even want a second. I hope you found this video insightful and encouraging. I can't wait for you to try it out for yourself. Let me know in the comments below how it goes. And if you want more eating skills videos just like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.